Beauties, welcome back to my YouTube. Okay, so today I realise a lot of my subscribers and a lot of people who watch my videos might not have ever wakeboarded. What we're going to do is we're going to learn all the ways you can get up on a wakeboard from the very basic like starting in the water, your first time ever wakeboarding, to like doing pretty legit like a pro, like a pro dock start. So basically we're going to go into it straight away. So you put it on your board, I'm just going to click until we're finished putting on the board. So. Okay, so we're ready. So now, the first step, you wanna always wear a life jacket, always wear a helmet because otherwise you're stupid. But basically, it's gonna feel awkward having a board on you, but if you can just try to get down onto your bum, get into the water. Now, the thing about this is we are doing this on a cable, but this very first dock start you can do on a boat, behind a jet ski, a rib, cable, winch, anyway. So, unfortunately we have to get into cold water because we live in Ireland. Ooh. Okay. So basically the most important thing you need to do is not try and stand up. The cable or the boat has so much more power than you. So what you want to do is you want to keep your arms reasonably straight, your knees fully bent, and let the board float up in front of you like that. Then what's going to happen is the cable is going to go slightly tight, it's going to pull you forward a little bit, and then you're just going to stand up. Okay, so it just slowly pulls you. Nice and easy. So that is literally the essence. Basically, in summary, you want to let the cable or the boat pull you up, get nice and slowly, and then you'll pull into position. At the end of this video, I'll talk about which foot you should put forward, your left or your right, but we'll leave that till the end, because I need to not be in a way for you. Next up, we're gonna learn the dock start. So, this is kind of like, this is when you go from being like a beginner to kind of a bit more of a, like an intermediate rider, where you kind of, you got a bit more control, and yeah, that's it, so. A lot of this, I hate those guys. A lot of this is... <laughs> I'm so sorry I picked a day outside of the building side. But anyway, a lot of this is in the driver to time the rope. But basically, as the rope goes tight, that's when you want to jump forwards. Then, the natural instinct is to pull your arms up, but you don't want to do that. You want to try and keep your arms right in front of you. So, it kind of gently gives you some... This speed, you'll see how it's kind of slightly tight, jump. We're going to fast forward like a few months into your wakeboard. You've gone from a beginner to an advanced. You can do loads of stuff out there. I've got loads of tutorial videos on like hidden rails, clippers, everything. Next up is this is the one. This is the one that makes you like the bee's knees wakeboard. And this is when you want to do the nose press dock start, which is where you lean off your nose and jump in. So there's a, I wouldn't say it's a misconception, but like, is that even the right word? I don't know. Yeah. But a lot of people think you should go from the back to your front. You can do that. Personally, I would just let it build straight up because often I find what happens when they go from the back is people slip like that. Again, it's all on the driver, so thankfully I've got an experienced corner here. But basically we want to let the line Build, 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 and the further up you let your board go, believe it or not, gravity takes care of the rest and it comes back down. So, just want to basically lean on your front leg, keep your back leg straight, you want to kind of almost push down the handle as if it's the handle is almost like a wooden table, and you're kind of like letting it pull you up, and then you just want to let it go, and then it'll naturally come back down. So lean on, lean on.
So that is the essence of how to get up on a wakeboard, whether it's on the boat, the cable, it's all very, very similar. Sorry to interrupt you really quickly. I just realized I never explained how to pick which foot forward you should put. So what I would say is number one, if you've ever skateboarded, snowboarded, surfed, anything like that, the chances are 99.9% .9 of the time, you're gonna put the same foot forward as that. Now there are exceptions and if you've never ever ever, don't know why I said that so many times, if you've never done any board sports before, the test I always go for is I basically stand like this and I push someone. So then what happens is they get pushed and when they lose their balance, they either put their right or their left foot in front of them. What then this does is you realize, okay, I put my right foot in front of me, therefore like the chances are I like my right foot in front. It's not a foolproof science, but anyway, I just thought I would give you that information. But anyway, back to wake up. And I hope the video helps you. If you're gonna go away for it or you're thinking about it, 110% give it a go. Like we're in Ireland right now in September, it's cold, but it is the most fun thing ever. I will, I will warn you though, it gets very addictive. For now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want, to see any more like tutorial videos, I've got a bunch on my channel and uh, there's loads of vlogs and stuff so if you like it please subscribe because I always try and keep some fresh content rolling. Come on down here. Sorry about the building side guys. I wish I could just like turn that volume down but anyway. For now thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah, catch up with you soon.